sort of started us out with this suggestion. Why don't you take the lead on this one? Oh man, I don't, I don't know. I mean, obviously we're looking at somebody that uses a bow and arrow here. Um, they feel very rangery, especially with the dull colored cloak and um, you know, the green man face on, uh, I don't know who would wear a wooden breastplate. That seems really uh dysfunctional dangerous for... even yeah. maybe i have thoughts i have thoughts yeah um but yeah I, I mean chris go ahead i mean i was just when somebody asked about duna day and i was like well that one kind of rangery it has that vibe um so there are a couple things to point out uh if you look at the belt buckle the belt buckle is uh more of the leaf shape that we see a lot with elves oh mm -hmm. yeah I'm, I'm also the it fletching right now. the fletching and coloring of the arrow is very similar to what we see legolas have oh Ooh, that's that, a good that point. was going to be my my thought process as well um, oh, um but oh, if we're talking wood elves specifically sylvan elves the yeah. elves that lived in lorien and erangalan or greenwood before they were colonized by the noldor and the Sindar. Mm, um, yeah. these elves would very easily have worshipped orme who is the god of the hunt uh -huh. and the god of the hunt is bearded and and very yeah, rugged and, like and looks it. very much like the green man that we see in I like it. Emily, uh, Welsh cultures. Emily, I saw you trying to wow. speak while Scotty gets set up here. Uh, let me know um, your thoughts. Are you able to like zoom in to the top right of the image? Because we can see the bottom of what Tiny the bit. cloak is attached to and it looks like it has a leaf on it. Hang on. Yes. And also it's another gray cloak, oh. which is super common amongst the wood elves. Hang on, hang on. Oh, oh God, it's taking up my whole <laughs> screen. I just updated. <laughs> okay, so sorry. What am I zooming in on? It's like the, the upper right hand. hand image. Upper right hand it's corner. Like we can see the very mm -hmm. bottom of what looks like a loop that the cloak is fastened with, and it looks like it has a leaf on it, like yes. the leaf, like they give, you know, the hobbits. Oh, there. okay, okay. Hang on, hang on. I need to adjust the screen here. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Okay, so what everyone can see that like little belt hook thing in the left hand corner. No, it's at the top right. Oh, top right. Top right. So sorry. People are where, saying where the cloak a... would fasten, where the cloak yeah. would fasten, like where the elven brooches it's barely, were. barely, barely in. Oh, oh, I see. Oh, yes, that little gray, little yeah. nook. Yeah. That little and there's chainmail there. And oh, the, wow. Yeah, and there's chainmail. That's yeah. a great catch. That's a great catch. That is a great catch. <laughs> are, are we... It's... it's... There are so many different textures going on in this piece, and that's what gives me that sort of vaguely wood elf vibe, also, because the wood elves weren't known for making metal armor that much. Right. And what they what they would have taken, they probably would have learned from the dwarves, um, mm -hmm. because they didn't have necessarily super negative uh, relations with the dwarves. No. Until later, until later when we got <laughs> Thranduil and Orfer. <laughs> All right, um, I'm gonna. But I'm gonna... hi, Scotty. <laughs> yeah, hello. Hi, so, yeah, I just, I just uh, casually slipped in the call there. Uh... <laughs> Welcome. So, for those of you that don't know, uh, this is TikTok Jesus. Scotty, go ahead and introduce yourself, Mister. What is it now? Seven, uh... seven point one million followers. <laughs> oh. uh, yeah, currently wow. seven point one. So yeah, um, TikTok Jesus, Scotty Wartooth, um, the guy who tends to anger people on a daily basis. So uh... you're my. <laughs> 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 uh scotty when i told chris that you were going to be coming on the call uh they did freak out just a tiny bit so i'm a bit of a fanboy because bit, yeah. as a as a trans content creator like yes yes with religious <laughs> yeah. trauma hello <laughs> <laughs> oh i love yeah. your content man i'm i mean i'm just giving that trauma right back at those sort of people so um <laughs> yes yes to all of that so scott so i'm a, a Scott, yeah, sorry, go on. No, Scotty, go ahead. I, I just wanted to get your your thoughts on uh what today has been because oh my god, we've got so much. Yeah, I was I was briefly looking at the, the photos released earlier. Please? A friend of mine was just sharing it. Yeah. I I I don't know much about like exactly who exactly like how these characters are, but I'm just I'm just loving the costume design. It's just I was expecting like maybe like two or three, maybe, but it's just it's just so many. Yeah. Like, like Jesus, they've they've gone all, all out on this one. They have. And like, Scotty, do you follow a lot of cosplayers on TikTok? 
a few yeah there there are a number and i i can't speak for everybody else but i'm friends with a number of cosplayers that are like i want to make all of these costumes and i'm growing my hair out just in case for all of them. <laughs> good reference photos like they're so detailed they are yeah they really I'm, are i'm going i'm going platinum blonde again so i can buy wigs <laughs> I, I definitely want i definitely need to try some like middle earth like sort of um cosplay at some point i was once uh, years ago gonna try legolas but oh. it was just a bit overly complex for me, and I was going to have to hide all this in like a blonde wig or something. So, wizards are way painful. easier. <laughs> Go with a wizard. Yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, like, I could have just gone like Aragorn or something, but um, I don't know. I mean, you could I, pull I, off the Aragorn look, Scotty, if you really wanted. Possibly. To. I'll oh, tell yeah. you what, though. Uh, more recently, I was um, I was kind of working on a Star Wars Middle Earth crossover. Have you seen? Uh, Ethan uh, Tathan Props, I think it is Australian um, guy. He literally does like lightsabers of like uh, Middle Earth designs. Oh, yes. are are you I've referring? I've, which one oh, are you cool. referring to? I've seen I've a bunch. Got, yeah, I've got one. It's a uh, 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 what's the name of it? Uh, Aragorn sword. Andoril. Uh, Andoril. Andoril. Yes, yes. Wait, I've got. Did you I've say got the you have? That. Do you say you have yes. that? Go get it. Uh, Go, go get it. Sure yeah. it. Please, please, you take your time, Scotty. We will. Everything we will else is on pause. Gotta go find it. Did you like <laughs> throw it in a pile in the corner? Do you not have it with you at all times? <laughs> is I it not framed and mounted? I don't even have one that cool, and it's still mounted on my wall. Done. I.